So this video is all about chocolate cyst or endometrioma. We have already posted a Hindi video of on the same topic. So as you know on our channel we always post a Hindi version and an English version so that language doesn't become a barrier in knowledge dissemination. I hope you are benefited from it. So, so many patients they come to us in panic when they have been diagnosed with a chocolate cyst or endometrioma. So we will discuss how it happens, why it happens and how should you treat it. Do you always need surgery for this or are there medical treatments available? And then what are the options for fertility in such a case? Welcome to Origin Fertility and IVF. I am Dr. Rashmi Sharma. So regarding endometrioma or chocolate cyst, it is in a way a, a part of the disease called endometriosis. As we have already discussed in our endometriosis videos, that every month when a lady bleeds, when a menstrual cycle is, a cycle is happening, the endometrium inside the uterus uh, builds up in preparation for pregnancy and when pregnancy doesn't happen it sheds off and that shedding off is bleeding okay that is menstrual cycle so when that endometrium layer tissues are somehow present in other parts of the body as well just in this case maybe in the ovary so every time when the endometrium or the uterine lining is getting prepared to receive a baby the lining in other parts of the body like in the ovary or in the pelvis is also getting ready and when the uterus is bleeding that inside tissue in the ovary is also bleeding so there is a place from the uterus for the blood to come out through vagina in the form of menstrual flow but if these tissues are there in the ovary and bleeding is happening there is no way for this blood to come out so what will happen the blood will keep on getting collected in the ovary and ultimately it will lead to the formation of endometriotic cyst or a chocolate cyst okay so why why it happens we don't know why in some women this endometrium layer of the uterus is presented outside outside the uterus also science doesn't know the cause we just know it's because of the periods that is the only knowledge that we have till now about endometriosis or about chocolate cyst. Why do you call it chocolate cyst? Because when you cut it, when, when we are doing an operation and when we are cutting the cyst, a chocolate like material comes out. What is the chocolate like material? It is actually nothing but old collected blood. So if you keep let's say blood in a bottle and you leave it for three months, it will turn uh, blackish, brownish and chocolate colored. So that's why it is known as chocolate cyst okay so now we know uh, why it happens you know and we don't know the reasons for that okay while in some women there may be pain there may be infertility and there may be uh, painful intercourse so endometriosis is known for pain okay so pain may be a significant part of the symptoms of such patients in some of the women okay how do you diagnose how do you confirm so ultrasound is very very good in diagnosing chocolate cyst or endometriotic cyst there is a very typical appearance associated with ultrasound in cases of chocolate cyst okay then sometimes if we want to rule out whether this is actually chocolate cyst or are we missing some malignancy or cancer sometimes we want to do mri as well and sometimes a cancer marker test which is ca125 is also done to find out that we are actually dealing with chocolate cyst and we are not dealing with a malignant cyst okay so ultrasound mri and maybe certain blood tests can very nicely tell us that we are dealing with chocolate cyst and no other kind of cyst okay so now how do you manage it okay so management of chocolate cyst will depend on a lot of things it's not a straightforward answer it's not that you have to do surgery always it is not that you always have to take medicines no it will depend upon what is the age of the patient what are her fertility wishes whether she wants a baby or whether her family is complete then what is the size of the endometrium or chocolate cyst also whether she has ever been operated for the same kind of cyst before or not so based on these three four things her age 
what is her fertility wishes, whether she has been operated before and what is the size of the endometrioma. Also, what are her symptoms, how badly affected she is because of the cyst will guide our treatment. Okay, let's say for example, let's say an unmarried girl, let's say around 17, 18 year girl has come to me with let's say 3-4 centimeter endometrioma. Then in such an unmarried girl who is not wishing for a baby right now and doing a surgery in such a case can hamper her future, then we would like to keep this uh, girl on medical management. Maybe we would like to give her uh, drugs to suppress endometriosis like Dinogest, like oral contraceptive pills. So these drugs will not uh, make her chocolate cyst disappear but will also net not let the chocolate cyst grow. And whenever uh, the girl gets married, uh, then we can take care of the cyst. So this may be a, uh, this may be a one path when we are dealing with a young unmarried girl with a small size endometrioma. But let's say if the same girl is there with us with around 10 centimeter of endometrioma, of course we have to remove it. Okay, so depending upon what is her age, what is her size. Then let's say if you are dealing with a lady, maybe around 35 years with maybe two kids and she doesn't want any baby in the future and we have diagnosed endometrioma for the first time, then of course surgery is to be done. Surgery, a surgical removal of the cyst, then we confirm that yes, it is chocolate cyst and later on that lady can be kept on some suppressive treatment so that endometrioma doesn't come back. So surgery may be the first option for a lady whose fertility is complete, whose family is complete and she is no longer wanting to have a child. Now coming to a lady who is married but who, who further desires a pregnancy or uh, who doesn't have a child right? and she has an endometrioma, now I have to decide what to do, whether to do surgery or whether to do give her medical treatment. So this decision will depend upon her ovarian reserve. In that case, I would like to do her AMH, anti hormone, and we would like to see her ovaries uh, in ultrasound and try to assess her enteral follicle count, trying to ascertain that how many eggs does, she lady, does this lady has. If she has good reserve, good ample reserve, okay, she has got a lot of eggs, and, her, and she's not too old, let's say she's just around 32 years, then surgery will be first choice. We will do surgery and in that surgery, not only the cyst would be removed, we would also check her tubes, we would also check her uterus. And then immediately after the surgery, within six months, we would try to make her pregnant as fast as possible. Because we know this endometriosis or endometriotic cyst can come back. So the six months immediately following surgery, offers her the best chances of pregnancy that maybe we just give her egg forming drug or maybe IUI or maybe even IVF. Okay, so six months following surgery should not be wasted and should be utilized for making this woman pregnant as fast as possible. Let's say if I'm dealing with a lady who desires a baby who wants to be pregnant but her egg reserve is low, her AMH is low, her enteral follicle count is low and she has less number of eggs, then I would not do surgery first. Why? Because if I remove that cyst, with the cyst, not only the pathological part, but some healthy ovarian tissue would also be removed. So what will happen? Her eggs will go down further. So whatever number of eggs she had to begin with will decrease further. And that can hamper uh, her chances of having a baby from her own egg. So if her ovarian reserve is less and she wants a baby, then maybe in that case, first we would like to preserve her fertility by doing IVF and taking out the eggs, making the babies and freezing and then maybe either doing the transfer immediately if the endometrioma is not too big and removing the cyst at the time of cesarean. Or if the endometrioma is big, we freeze the embryos or the eggs and then do surgery and then followed by embryo transfer. Okay, so the answer is not simple. Medical or surgical management of chocolate cyst, let your doctor decide, discuss it and uh, depending upon your symptoms, depending upon your age, depending upon your fertility wishes, either a decision for surgery or medical management would be taken. I hope this information would be useful to you because chocolate cyst is pretty common, it's, it's very very common and a lot of patients suffer a lot actually throughout life because this is, a, this is a disease which is going to go away only with menopause. So I hope this uh, video would be helping you. If you know somebody who has chocolate cyst or endometriotic cyst, you might like to forward this video to them also uh, for their help. 
on our channel on every tuesday at around 12 12 15 pm we have a live session either with me or with my uh, associate uh, doctors if you have any questions you can uh, just connect to us live during that live session or otherwise you can write down your questions in the comment section below and we would try to answer them definitely during our live sessions thank you so much mm -hmm.